nice and lovely song. This morning we want to make you Jamaican breakfast. All right. You know what I mean? A lot of people might have said, boy, Chef Ricardo, boy, I mean, oh, this is too easy, or, you know what I mean? But we're going to show you how you can make yourself a lovely Jamaican breakfast. Alright, guys? So, first thing, medium sized front pan on the stove. And we're going to put that roughly about two tablespoons of either olive oil or vegetable oil. Any oil which is easy for you. That's what we're going to be using. Alright? First thing, get some planting. I'm going to be using some rye planting. And I'm going to be simple. You can cut them up first. I'm going to do it the Jamaican way. This is how Jamaican is cook back home. So we're cutting the planting. Let's remove the skin from the planting. And cut it up like this. I will show you how Jamaican cook. Alright. Medium size eat. And you don't want the oil to splash up and burn you. Take a little time. Alright. So that's one planting we've been frying at the moment. As you can see. So as you can see, I've been frying the plant in them at the moment. You want them to get that nice, lovely, lovely color. That lovely, fantastic color. That's all you're looking for is the lovely color. And then we're going to Once you get that lovely color, you'll be all right, guys. Honestly. Nice. So, next. Simple. Turn it over. Because I'm using a tongue. I'm using the clip. So, some people will be using fork. Once you get that lovely color. Medium size, eat to fry the plant on. See that color? Nice. I'm gonna put you on a piece of a napkin. So what you do? You rest it on a piece of napkin like this. To take away the oil. If you notice what I'm doing. Without all of these one mm -hmm. so as you can see Jamaican fry planting we are making a Jamaican breakfast this is finished that's finished that's finish and that's finish all right guys then what I'm going to do next is we're gonna show you another way of this is one egg egg mm. 
little bit of salt a little bit of pepper Jamaican way of making breakfast all right Yeah man. So if you are, if you are at home and you feel bored or you want to do something, this is another way where you can do something at home. Yeah? Take a bit of salt. Some pepper. See that? Oh, Jamaican fried egg. I make them breakfast. All right. So you want the egg yolk for broke? I don't want to eat the yolk. <laughs> Some people doesn't like the yolk at all. All right. What I'm going to do now? I just turn off my stove because in the meantime the egg been frying, get it crispy. So we say planting. Fried egg. Alright, so we're going to show you now how you put this together for your breakfast. Nice, so basically, guys, as I can see, I just finished fry the planting and the egg. I just buttered two pieces, two slices of brown Jamaican bread. What I'm going to do is put the planting. Why you don't give it a try at home? Put the plant in like this. And like this. And like this. Alright? Get your egg. And then you do it like this. I remember back in the days when I was in Jamaica, that's the way I used to have my breakfast. All right, let's do another one. All right. Planting. Planting. And then we got egg. Jamaican breakfast we are talking about. Put it like this together. You see that? Take a good look at that. That's a proper Jamaican breakfast, guys. With a nice, lovely, lovely cup of tea. You know, I can have tea with a drink that with now. If I was in Jamaica in the morning, I would be probably drinking. I gotta tell you what. What can I tea I will be drinking in the morning when we wake up? Fever grass tea. If you remember fever grass tea, who remember fever grass tea? Anyway, if you want to get some fever grass tea, you can go to the Jamaican Valley website and type in jamaicanvalley.com and get some fever grass. We want to come next to it to this video, where we're gonna show you how we can use fever grass. If I was in Jamaica, I would be drinking some fever grass tea and eating a nice, lovely breakfast with some fried planting, fried egg, put together, come on, lovely, tasty, and nice. But as I said, if I was in Jamaica, I would be drinking some fever grass or probably some lime tea or some mint tea. One of those tea we will be drinking. But we will be coming next with the Jamaican Valley fever grass tea. Because a lot of people know it as fever grass. In different countries, they call it different kind of names. But you remember fever grass? Yes, I know you remember. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and go on jamaicavalley.com and purchase your own fever grass tea bag and make your own tea at home. Take a good look, smile, enjoy the recipe 
and remember one thing don't forget it's three things subscribe like and tell a friend share the video and make someone else know about chef ricardo jamaican breakfast in the morning with fried egg and fried plantain one love from chef ricardo and the team and i will see you next time bye bye